taxi line of people go and buy a car that costs in the hundreds of thousands of euros. And yeah, he can still have a car that excites him, but it's at a third of the price or a quarter of the price. Aimed at men in their 30s and 40s, Price says more than 450 cars have been ordered by European and British dealers, defying the huge slump being felt by car manufacturers all over the world. We had aimed at a price range which was way below anything they'd ever seen before and kind of caught the, the industry by surprise because we've had the big boys come and say, but how and why? And the answer lies here in South Africa, on the outskirts of the small coastal town of Port Elizabeth, where Jimmy Price has spent the last 15 years manufacturing high-quality replica 1960s sports cars for the American market. Our business is not really truly the car business. We in sort of the men's jewelry business. And like the jewelry market in the U.S., Price's kit car business nosedived as a consequence of the global downturn. He had to lay off a third of his staff. The end of last year was a disaster for everyone. It just totally fell off the sidewalk. Which is why we're seeing all of the stock sitting here. You are pretty embarrassed about that because normally we don't carry stock. We're made to order. Price says he'll be able to build the new Zagato so cheaply and so simply because of the lessons he's learnt while manufacturing classic cars in his South African workshop. So this is where you guys are so unique. I mean, the attention to detail is Absolutely, just you have to. You know, the, it's easy to build one car. It's tough to build a lot of cars mm. all exactly the same, and that's the, 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 the difference. Now, this car is just about complete. Obviously, it has to be cleaned down and wiped down. Yep. But if you look at the finish on the paint, if you look at the free finish everywhere and the interior of the car, it's all, all uh, leather, very original sourcing of parts. It's all about simple engineering and consistent quality, he says. To avoid import expenses, most of the metal parts are made on site. They also build the car's body in fiberglass and finish off with slick paint jobs. A cost-effective in-house production line that Price says he will replicate when manufacturing the Zagato. I think our new car is already a slam dunk because I think what's happened is the guys who were buying or stretching to buy the 100,000 pound cars and the 90,000 pound cars, they can't stretch that high anymore. The banks won't let them. The first cars will be delivered from South Africa to Britain by the end of the year. A big win for a small player in the car game, in a gamble that even had the big auto manufacturers gasping. Robin Kono, CNN, Port Elizabeth, South Africa. I don't know if $70,000 or $79,000 is all that cheap still.